You know, this is a Hawaiian word, kuleana. It means your purpose, your vocation in life. It means what are you meant to do? What are you meant to be? What is your calling? Part of our consciousness raising is understanding who we are as Pacific Islanders and looking to our ancestors and looking to our culture for actual solutions to actually help move us forward. Talofa. I'm Sefa Aina and I'm a founding member and co-board chair of Empowering Pacific Islander Communities, also known as EPIC. EPIC was started in 2009 at a time when our founders were really looking to create Pacific Islander-specific spaces to talk about and focus on the critical needs of our communities. A lot of it around health, education, and immigration. If you look at our logo, you'll see their symbols for birds and waves and, and the wind. And we recognize that as people in diaspora who are on the continent, who are far from our land, it's incumbent upon us to learn how to read the landscape and teach our people how to do the same. EPIC represents the resiliency of our communities. Mm -hmm. Do you know Pacific Islander communities? Do you know our histories, our cosmologies? Do you know the history of colonization? We have to acknowledge history. The reason we're here doing this work is because at some point in our history, there was an injustice done to our community. And part of our consciousness building was to acknowledge that that happened. We were militarized islands. There was intentionality behind that. The health disparities that exist in the Pacific Islander community are long-standing and an inevitability of, of a lot of inequity. We were fated for death because of our comorbidities. That health stats would talk about heart disease and cancer and diabetes and obesity and decide that our people were inherently unhealthy. EPIC's approach places the inquiry and the onus on systems that if you tell me about obesity, I'll tell you about what happens when you take away the land and the ability for people to grow their own food. They talk about cancer rates and they'll talk about nuclear testing that rendered so much of the Pacific exposed and predisposed to cancer. We're not just people who are unfortunate and have bad luck. We are intentionally funneled into the life that we live. There are statuses that exist solely in the Pacific Islander community. American Samoa is the only U.S. soil you can be born on and not be born a U.S. citizen. We've got folks who are citizens but can't vote. We've got the COFA migrants who are actually considered non-immigrants, which is a whole other status. We're helping each other in a reciprocal way, continuing to fight for social justice, continuing to fight for civil rights, immigration rights. My hope for EPIC is to remain the pillar as a national voice in our community and really remain as the metaphor of us being a resilient group of people.